So I'm gonna make a soup, not exactly sure. I, I would rather make it more of an American style chicken noodle soup with a mirepoix of carrots, onions, and celery. Don't have that. You can still make chicken soup. Every culture pretty much has chicken soup. I'm gonna make this a little bit more how I grew up eating it, uh, with the noodles being uh, the tingly wavy noodles. I'm gonna use a pressure cooker. You don't have to use an Instant Pot. This, this is the same thing. It just doesn't have the crappy UI, UX, or whatever you call it. Don't worry, a lot of my friends have it. I'm just jealous of their success. Uh, so I'm gonna make a chicken soup in a pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you just bring it to a boil. See all that? That, that is liquid gold. That's the gelatin. And it's all, it's just massive flavor. And you do not want to throw that out. I, I really dislike um, overcooked chicken, where especially when, I love boiled chicken, but when it is overcooked, it starts to become mealy. So I'm going to take as much of the meat off as possible, but at least still some on, because I think one of the sort of misperceptions or misunderstandings about making soup at home is you're cooking bones. And that's great, but you're not making a, a stock. You want something that has meat on it so it becomes more flavorful. And that's why I always try to leave meat on it when I'm making like a, a quick soup. You see, a wing would be delicious when it's not a day old or and after it's cooked, because this is gonna be hard to make delicious again. Just cook the hell out of it in, a, in the soup. I just wanna make sure we got the chicken oyster off. That's the best part. Cover it in water. Let's make this soup. Tasting good. Running out of bowls. So I'm just gonna strain this. And now I'm gonna start flavoring this and cooking noodles simultaneously. So I have the tingly wavy. And I'm just gonna add two seasoning packets to the broth itself. Check for seasoning. Now it's got a nice base, but it needs to be punched up a little bit. So I'm gonna add some soy and some salt. I don't know, I just saw some chicken bouillon. I might add some of that too. I have some shiitakes, any mushrooms would do. And this is a good good recipe to, again, clean out anything. If I had zucchini, I had squash, even fennel, anything. Any kind of vegetable really would work with the exception of say celery act, but I don't know many people that are cooking with celery. So here's another tip when making chicken soup. I always season this to make sure it tastes good. And the reason is, is that soup broth is tasting very nice. I have the seasoning packets from the noodles. So it's got a little bit of soy, a little bit of mala, which is that, that Sichuan pepper numbness, uh, numbing, a little chili. It's not crazy spicy. It's something that my four-year-old could definitely eat. But if I add this to that broth, it's going to make it not as balanced season-wise with salt. So what I'm gonna do is season this. Sesame oil and a little tamari. Delicious. Take out my noodles. So at home, what I would do is this. This is how I would serve it. 
every, a portion out, everyone gets their noodle soups. Not everybody, especially my kids, want the soup. Everything's got to be separate. If the soup hits the noodles, they're going to freak out. So this is how I do it now, and it actually just better this way because not everybody eats at the same time, right? These are just real things. So the things you see on commercials, it's total bullshit. You see on TV, it's total fucking bullshit. Food hits the table, nobody eats at the same fucking time. It never happens. But if your family does, I'd like to meet you guys. You know, rarely does everyone eat at the same time. So oftentimes, even if we're all sitting down together, I have to feed the kids. By the time I get to my food, it's going to be mush. So. This is great. I can feed the kids. If I need to reheat this, I can reheat it. And then I, I might have, if we had any kind of herbs, cilantro, anything, or any other vegetables, I would have that or I could add that as a garnish. So it's a little bit like your own little noodle bowl bar. And that's how I make noodle soup with the Momo noodles. All with leftover stuff. We had cold rotisserie chicken, whatever veg. We actually have almost no veg, so I could have added the, the, the green beans if I needed to, but there's some, I, I personally like my chicken noodle soup. If it's not gonna have mirepoix in it, just with some mushrooms and onions and garlic, and that's it. You know, if you want sesame oil in soup, you have to be judicious, but that heat really makes it aromatic. That's, it's really good. Like legitimately, extremely good. And I make this shit all the time at home.